All right, let's get into today's video. What we're gonna be talking about is how to break in your new motorcycle, how to break in your new Harley Davidson motorcycle, and more specifically, how to break in your 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider ST. This motorcycle that I'm on right now, we are going to be discussing that topic. Hey everyone, my name is Ty, and welcome back to the channel. I most definitely appreciate your time today as we get on this topic. So as we jump in, let's go ahead and define our terms. We may have to do that a time or two in this discussion. So when we're talking about breaking in your motorcycle, we're talking about, you know, those first 500 miles that Harley recommends, a certain practice and procedure, certain things you should be doing, certain things you shouldn't be doing. You know, when a uh, Harley Davidson dealership takes possession of a motorcycle, they have to take the motorcycle and put fluids in it and put oil and gas in it and those type of things. So we're talking about those first 500 miles of all the engine components working together. I mean, you got to think, how many times do you pull your brake levers? How many times do you pull your clutch levers? And the break-in period is that first little bit where everything in the motorcycle is working together and working for the first time. So that is what we're going to define as a motorcycle break-in period for this discussion. All right, so this information comes right out of the Harley Davidson owner's manual for the Lowrider ST. A couple of bullet points we're going to touch on. And the very first one that Harley says, they say during the first 50 miles of riding this motorcycle to keep the engine below 3,000 RPMs in any gear that you're in. They say that's very, very important. They say don't you don't want to lug the engine by running or um, accelerating at a very low RPM or by running at a very high RPM for longer than you need to on the motorcycle. So the very first point that Harley makes is that information right there. Now Harley also recommends that within that first 500 miles, whatever you do, you mix up your type of riding as you're breaking in the engine. So in other words, you don't want to put all of those miles, all 500 miles on the freeway. You don't want to put all of those 500 miles on some little back road like this. So you want to be sure to mix it up, do some freeway riding, do some back road riding, all those type of things, even at variable speeds and variable RPMs is the second bullet point in the owner's manual. Something else that Harley recommends is you want to be sure and let your engine warm up. You don't want to take your bike out of the garage, crank it up, and then just automatically take off at a really high rate of speed with the, with the throttle just wide open. It says let your engine warm up a little bit, give the engine time for the, for the oil to heat up and, and move about through the engine and that type of thing. So, you know, I've heard, I've heard different viewpoints on that, but I'm just telling you what's in the Harley-Davidson owner's manual. And Harley says, let your engine warm up for that first 500 miles. Harley also says, if possible, you need to avoid hard braking for the first 100 miles. And I guess that makes sense, right? You don't want to take a brand new motorcycle that could potentially have some type of uh, mechanical issue with the brakes. You don't want to get out and getting yourself in a situation where you've got to apply, apply a lot of hard braking and maybe the brakes aren't there for some reason and uh, something catastrophic could happen. So it makes sense. So Harley says, if possible, for that 100, first 100 miles, just take it easy on the brakes. So as I was doing some research on this video, there are some people out there who have some other ideas about how to break in a motorcycle or even if you should. Some of the advice that I heard from people was just something like this. As soon as you buy that motorcycle and you take it out of there from the dealership, just ride it the way that you would always ride it. There's no need to do anything special to the motorcycle. You don't have to treat it a certain way. Just ride the motorcycle the way that you would normally. And I guess that would be okay if you ride, you know, kind of like um, an average motorcycle rider. But if you're somebody who really gets on it and applies a lot of throttle, following these procedures might be the thing to do. 
Well, another viewpoint that I've heard people say on some forums and that type of thing is that the way that motorcycles are put together today doesn't really require a break-in period. And the point they were trying to make is technology has helped us build engines much better today than in previous years and there's just no need for a break-in period now i guess that could be partially true i don't know if i necessarily just subscribe to that line of thought but that's what some other people out there are saying so we talked about what harley recommends we talked about what other people recommend or their suggestions what about me how is it that i break in an engine well I've had my fair share of new motorcycles for the past few years, that, that's for sure. And um, I gotta tell you, just be completely honest with you, I think I follow maybe a, a combination of all these things that we've talked about. Yeah, there's certain guidelines that Harley recommends that uh, I definitely try to put into practice, but I also, when I get a new motorcycle, I really, more than anything, just ride it the way that I typically ride a bike. You know, I'm not really a fast, aggressive rider and that type of thing. So when I break in a motorcycle, it really just has a natural feel to it. I'm just out riding around, kind of doing my own thing. And this Lowrider ST, whew, it makes it easy because it is smooth as glass. It's such a fine, fine motorcycle for sure. And I do want to break this one in right, take good care of it because I would love to keep this one for quite some time. So I tell you what, guys, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of this information and what's your recommendations. How do you break in a brand new motorcycle? Well, you guys could have been doing a lot with this time that you spent with me today, and I appreciate it so very much. If you would, please like and subscribe more lowrider st content on the way soon specifically specifically i've already put in an order for the risers for these handlebars they should be in anytime soon and uh, that project will get underway so stay tuned to the channel i hope you guys have an excellent day we'll talk to you again soon